the first situation we would like to address is overpressure in the breathing circuit bag. This overpressure can be caused by a couple of different things. One of the things that can cause this is a bad positioning of the inhalation and exhalation discs. What we need to do is check how much space is located between the disc and the disc pins. For demonstration purposes we will be using this model of absorber. It may not be the same one that you have but the parts are all the same. Now one thing that may happen is during transport if the machine, if the box has received a large shock the inhalation and exhalation discs seats may have become dislodged. If this is the case then the displacement of the disc the orange disc or the blue disc on some absorbers may not have sufficient space to move properly. If you notice the amount of space right now between the disc and the pins on the dome they are insufficient. This is because the seat has become dislodged. In order to reposition the seat remove the dome and make sure that the seat is pushed in all the way. You'll see, feel a little bit of tension as, it's, as there's an o-ring being pushed through. Now when we reposition the dome, you'll notice how much space that we have between the disc and the pins. Now for demonstration purposes, I took an absorber and I put it on a table just so that it'd be easier for you to visualize what we need to do. Uh, now, the first thing we have to do is remove the soda lime canister. So we unscrew the screw beneath the canister till there's enough displacement to take it out. And you put the canister to the side. When you remove the soda lime canister, you'll notice here we have a perforated grill. In the center of the perforated grill, there's a Phillips head screw we need to remove this screw and remove the grill. You'll notice that when the black grill, perforated grill is removed, we can see a black piece located here that's got like a slot on the center. This is a seat valve. This seat valve is what controls the size of the bag. If this seat valve is defective either by uh, dirt or uh, any other uh, problem, then the bag will be either overinflated or underinflated. We need to replace this seat valve assembly. The way to do it is we take a small flat screwdriver and we insert it on the side on the edge of the lips on both sides of the absorber a little bit at a time on both sides and the seat assembly will pop out. This is the seat assembly that we just removed. Notice the edges on each side. When we pried it off, we pried it by inserting the screwdriver be below here and below here. Inside of this disc and seat assembly there's a stainless steel disc with two little rods. Now, if the ideal situation is that we replace the whole assembly. If we don't have one, we can correct the problem by flipping the disc over. In order to do that, we take a pair of pliers and we remove the lower bracket, that's the, the lower pin that's holding the disc in place. So we just push it out about halfway. Once it's pushed out, we can tilt it over Grab the disc with the pliers, do not force, just pull it slightly and then flip it over. Put it back into place and push the pin back in. Next operation will be reinserting the assembly. Now, to reinsert the seat, it's very important to observe the position. Take the seat, bring it up towards the hole and line up the two edges so that they don't conflict with the outer wall here. We push it in slowly and push it in with our fingers. You'll notice here this edge has to line up with the base of the absorber. Now we push it in. 
you may require pushing in firmly and this edge here has to be lined up with the with the absorber once that's done it's installed. Now that we've reinstalled our disc, we need to reassemble the absorber. So we take our perforated grill, we reinstall it. Reinstall our servo line canister. Tighten the canister into place. Now all we have left to do is test our machine to make sure that everything operates properly. The, do, the way you will do that is you will take your breathing circuit with the pop-off valve on the machine fully open, you'll turn your oxygen flow meter up to one liter per minute. At one liter per minute you will obstruct the end of your breathing circuit with your thumb and watch the bag inflate on the machine leave the bag fully inflate. Once it has fully inflated, the reading on your pressure gauge should not vary by more than two centimeters of water. Now that, once it's stabilized, that should be a normal condition and your bag should also be inflated to approximately half to three quarters its size, but with no excessive pressure buildup, two centimeters maximum. Make sure that the needle is at zero before you, before you start doing your checks.